default ledger account allocation. To preset default allocation of sales purchase ledger accounts in every inventory voucher entry at inventory voucher configuration screen set yes at specify default ledger accounts for invoicing. Consequently, the field set modify default ledger accounts for invoicing get activated at stock item master screen. At stock item master creation alteration screen, set yes at set modify default ledger accounts for invoicing to get default ledger account allocation for invoicing for the stock item. The screen has two sections, upper section for sales account allocation details, lower section for purchase account allocation details. Now set as follows for respective sections. At ledger name set as follows, sales account allocations, ledger account, select the sales ledger from the list of sales, direct income ledger accounts. Percentage allocation, enter the percentage allocation of the sales value of the item to the selected ledger account. Rounding method, select the rounding method. Rounding limit, enter the rounding limit. Purchase account allocations. Ledger account. Select the purchase ledger from the list of purchase direct expenses ledger accounts. Percent allocation. Enter the percentage allocation of the sales value of the purchase value of the item to the selected ledger account. Rounding method. Select the rounding method. Rounding limit. Enter the rounding limit. In the same way, select other ledger accounts and set their percentage allocation. Rounding method and rounding limit. The rounding method and rounding limit cannot be specified for last ledger allocation. The total of percentage of allocation of the ledger accounts must be 100. There, these are separately explained in detail in invoicing section. Consequently, during sales purchase invoice entry, the value of the item will be auto allocated to the respective account. However, normally the ledger accounting allocation are sales purchase dependent, not stock item dependent. For example, the item allocation may differ for local sales, interstate sales, export sales and other exempted sales. So there may not be a single allocation rule applicable. In such cases, the item allocation may not be useful. Moreover, sales purchase invoice tax ledger allocation like VAT, CST, etc., which are to be linked to the respective statutory module separately. Allocation in stock ledger account will not link to the statutory tax module. 